Hello everyone. I am going to explain a Java program using a synchronized threads which demonstrate the producer and consumer concept. Here, Q is a class and the int num, as you can see, the int num, this is an instance variable, stores an uh, integer value that represents the data that the producer will put into the shared resources. Now, this boolean value set is equals to false. This line, this uh, line indicates that the value has been set by the producer or not. It initialized to false to indicate that the resource is initially empty. Now, this public synchronized void put method, uh, it uses the producer to put a value into a shared resources. Here what happens is, it enters a synchronized block ensuring that only one thread can execute this at a time, preventing concurrent access issues. Sorry. It uses a while loop to check if value set is true. If it is true, as you can see, it, use, it uses a while loop. If it is true, uh, it means that the resource is already full so that it uses the method weights. It uses the method weight. When the resources becomes available, that is the value set becomes false, the producer sets the num value marks value set as true to indicate that the resources is now full and notifies any waiting threads, that is consumer using notify method. Now, now we can see the public synchronized void get. This method is used by the consumer to get a value from the shared resources. Here what happens is, it also enters a synchronized block to ensure mutual exclusion. Uh, it, it uses a while loop. Here also, as you can see, it uses a while loop to check if value set is false. If it is false, it means that the resource is empty. So the method waits for wait method. It uses the as you can see, it uses the wait method. When the resources becomes available, that is, value set becomes true, the consumer retrieves the num value, um, mark, marks value set as false to indicate that the resources is now empty and notifies any waiting thread, that is, producer using notify method. Now, here, the, here, the producer is a class that is Q is an instance of Q class that the producer will interact with. The, uh, the constructor initializes the Q instance variable that starts a new thread. Now, as you can see here, public void run. This method is a part of a runnable interface and defines the producer's behavior when the thread is started. It is repeatedly calls, it repeatedly calls put method to add a value to share the resources and it increments. As you can see, and it increments i and it goes to sleep mode between the iterations. Now, here the customer is a class and similar, uh, this is also similar to the producer class. It takes an instance of a Q class. It takes an instance of a Q class and starts a new thread for the consumer. Now here, the public void run method is defines that the consumer behavior when the threads is started. It repeatedly calls Q get method. QGET method to retrieve the values from the shared resources and i is incremented and it goes for the and it goes to sleep for 5 seconds between the iteration. Now, the public class n that is main method. The main method creates an instance of the class Q and a producer and a consumer. It starts both the producer and the consumer threads and they run concurrently. Now you can see the output.
So this is the output. Thank you.